this video is about electric field due to a plane sheet of charge now i know i'm not covering electrostatics or anything on my channel so why i'm making this video because there is a really interesting thing in this topic which i want to tell you that is if you find electric field due to a plane sheet of charge it is like i will derive this but i want to tell you why i'm making this video because i'm not covering electrostatic or anything but if you want me to cover any topic you can comment down below so electric field due to a plane sheet of charge is sigma upon 2 epsilon not where epsilon not is the absolute permittivity of free space and sigma is the surface charge density okay but if in some exam or anything there is conducting sheet like a conducting surface then the electric field e is sigma upon epsilon naught so if we like add a sigma upon to epsilon naught here we get a sigma upon epsilon naught so from where this extra sigma upon to epsilon naught comes and what if i have a surface which is like a plane surface not conducting which have this sigma surface charge density it have this electric field and i like take all the charge from this surface and put there to a conducting surface will that be like sigma upon epsilon naught from where that extra surface charge come and what will happen it will be like sigma upon 2 epsilon naught but not in this way i will tell you how so now let us first try to calculate this sigma upon 2 epsilon naught from an infinite plane sheet so let's take an infinite plane sheet first this is the plane sheet and now to calculate the electric field it's simple we take gaussian surfaces so we take a cylinder a cylinder because we will calculate this component and this component and this component is zero we will just get this component it's gonna be really simple so their electric field is e if this is positively charged and this here it is e and flux will be added it's not a vector quantity so now let's see the total flux so total flux in this closed surface is e dot ds and it is for this one and it is also for this one and it is for this surface also this one here it is zero it's simple so let's say this one is delta s and this is also delta s so first one is e delta s plus second one is e delta s and the third one which is zero so we get 2 e delta s okay now we know that this is equal to q upon epsilon naught but we won't use q we need a surface charge density thing here so we know that uh, sigma is equal to q by s so s in here is delta s so q is sigma delta s so putting this sigma delta s in here sigma delta s by epsilon naught this delta s cancels this one now we get like e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught so far so good like we got the right result so now we will do it for a conducting surface now why i'm doing for surface not this plane sheet because there is no way to make a singly charged infinite plane conducting sheet let me show you how first let's do it for a surface what will happen is this let's make a surface this one is conducting and this is like the behind of the surface and we will take a gaussian cylindrical surface and this is the normal and this is the perpendicular component now here simply this integral will have 1 e delta s value because the charge inside the surface here is zero in this closed surface there will be only flux added with this surface so e delta is equal to similar to this sigma delta s by epsilon naught and we cancel this one so we got e is equal to sigma mon epsilon naught so which is two times the electric field due to this surface so now from where this extra sigma upon epsilon naught coming this is really interesting so listen carefully as we know let's take a 
sheet of metal a uh, conducting surface if we give this a uh, some charge what will happen is this will go in the surface such that the electric field inside this surface should be zero so what will happen is this the positive charge will accumulate on the surface here also and here also so the net electric field inside will be zero so what we are finding here is the electric field due to two infinite charge sheets that's why the sigma upon 2 epsilon plus sigma upon 2 epsilon gives us sigma upon epsilon not so what will happen like say if there is a charge sheet of surface charge and sigma that's why i said that we can't make a single sheet there always will be two and now what will happen if i have a sheet of charge density sigma and i am getting electric field sigma upon 2 epsilon naught now what if the same charge is went in here so what will happen is this there will be two charge densities there will be two sheets but their surface charge density will be sigma by 2 so for that same density for the metal sheet we will also get sigma by 2 epsilon naught but this one is due to two sheets with half of that surface charge density which we had on one sheet so this is why i made this video because this topic is really interesting because sometimes for metal plane sheets we take sigma by 2 epsilon naught but why that sigma by 2 epsilon for conducting sheets came from as we are thinking it as a single charge sheet of that same density and for capacitors we take sigma by epsilon naught this is because the net field in inside the conducting planes should be zero and there we take sigma by epsilon naught so the summary of this video is that the field near a conducting surface is sigma by epsilon naught and near a simple plane sheet is sigma by 2 epsilon naught but don't confuse when we take this one for conducting surface the sigma is sigma by 2 for two sheets okay so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything